welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we are taking a look at The American Revolution, which is Commands and Colors Tricorn. Uh, it's obviously from Richard Borg, who's the Commands and Colors father. And this particular game is put out by Compass Games. Block War Game, Commands and Colors, American Revolution. I know a lot of you already know about this game. I've so a lot of you have played the game. This is <laughs> taking us a long time to get a hold of it. Uh, but we're looking to try and play all of the Commands and Colors games um, and do kind of a, a video about all of them and which ones, you know, different people might like. Um, when we bought this, we bought it at WBC. So we got really good pricing because WBC is the best and they have the best discounts. It's great. Uh, when we did buy it, they were handing out these Kickstarter exclusive bonus scenarios. So this is awesome. We got two extra scenarios, which is um, Stono Ferry and White Plains in 1776. So I don't know how you would normally get a hold of this if it's available on their website. If it's if they've got it as like a free thing, you can PDF, you can print off. I don't know. Um, but that was really nice. They were like, oh. Here, you can have this as well, that was awesome. So I appreciate that. The game itself is huge, and it is very heavy. This is a massive box. Two players, 60 to 90 minutes, and I'm straining under the weight because it's so much. Here, let's just open it. <laughs> okay, uh, so this box, okay. Compass Games, normal boxes usually. This is both glossy and it's textured. I don't know if you can see that. This is a really solid box to keep all this wood in. Uh, it's just very fancy, and I like that. So there's obviously a ton of wood here. The main bag of wood are your regular pieces. And there's this beautiful uh, kind of a mid-tone blue, red, and there's some dark blue here as well. This is going to be our infantry pieces, presumably. And then in this one, we have the larger blocks. So I presume there's be commanders or um, cannons. And it looks like there's some square ones. I don't know if those will be cavalry or, or other units here, but an absolute ton of wood. The nice thing with what Compass did on their Kickstarter is the dice are custom dice, so there's no stickers in these ones. They're kind of small dice, which I enjoy, but it's easy to chuck them. And these are, uh, I don't know how you'd describe it, but it almost feels like it's, they're like printed on. Oh, let's see how these are focus. It's like printed on, but this isn't like a, it's plastic. It's not like these are going anywhere anytime soon. It's just a really unique way of making these that I've not seen in a game before. But custom dice are always nice, especially, and thank goodness they gave you a bunch of them too. Anytime they give you four dice and you gotta re-roll, it's frustrating. But they gave, they gave you a whole bunch, so appreciate that a lot. A couple of decks of your command cards. We'll get to those here in a second. <laughs> 2017 news, yay. All these old games, that's some Bewerbung, which we'll get rid of. Uh. Okay, the board, which we should all expect and know what it's going to look like, is single-sided, and it is a very large <laughs> set of hexes with absolutely nothing on it other than, it says, Commands and Colors Tricorn, which obviously I have upside down, and then there's the, um, mark, the uh, delineations of the different uh, areas there flanks and centers and all that. So, that good stuff here, we should have, so, we have one semi-gloss rule book, which is, these are all scenarios, but really, hmm, how many scenarios you got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 scenarios, plus our two Kickstarter ones. And a whole bunch of rules. 
But the reality is, as we probably all know these rules, and there's just a few exceptions. So we'll be reading through these fairly sharpish. Nice rule book. So we have the different uh, unit reference charts. Who shoots what, where, and where. And then terrain effects charts. So we'll have all of those out on the table. And the stickers, the lovely stickers, which I have a lot of blocks to do. Okay. So here's something interesting. Here's the stickers for the dice. <laughs> so clearly they had planned on doing this, but the Kickstarter stretch goals enabled them to make these custom. So thank goodness for that. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at these because these are really, really nice. I, I don't know. These are very detailed photos. Look at those rifle units and those light units. There's so much color and vibrancy in those. Provincials. And even this, uh, the, like the light artillery, the light cannons, and the horsemen. Those are very, very, very nice. So there's one, two, five sheets of stickers. So I have a lot of stickering ahead of me. But they're all very nice and brightly colored and should be fairly easy to navigate. And the rest of this is five sheets of terrain tiles, and then obviously uh, flag markers, your victory markers. So they have a British side, and then they have the uh, American side as well. So these are obviously the river hexes, and the roads, or trails, I guess. Different fortifications, fences, redoubts, same thing here. So these are your redoubts right here. One on a hill, one on normal terrain. Tents. So this is like a camp. Just punch these. They punch up pretty nicely. They just fall out. So that'll make it nice and easy for us. Whole bunch of those. These are our elevation hill markers and trees. And then we've got some different kind of buildings, towns on the back side, some more trees and paths. So a lot of the terrain probably functions very much how we would expect it to, uh, with some exceptions, things like the redoubts. I don't know if I've seen these in another game, but uh, we'll see how those rules plan out. But oh, the cards, that was the last thing we want to take a look at. So let's, uh, oh, let's do this. He says, not being able to. All right. So we have the command cards. Okay. So your command cards are what you'd expect. Probe left, scout, probe center. Th these are how you're doing things. Now this one, and this is something that I'm very excited for, has the command, the com the combat decks. A lot of these games have these separate decks and things. These have separate ones for each faction. So you've got the British and the Continental, so they're gonna, you're not drawing from the same kind of deck and, oh, you get a, it's an artillery bombardment, or, oh, you route the enemy. These are specific to um, each of the factions, so the way that they work, all this kind of stuff. Things like the Continental rallies, whites of their eyes, all this kind of stuff are unique to them. Infantry bonuses, leader, initiative, project reform, return, fire, training, 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 call reserves, British line command, British volley, British bayonet, elite bonus, regular bonus. So you're getting different combat cards. That's something that I'm excited for. This is uh, more of your probes and all this, the actions. These are where I think it's going to get a really cool game. Not only do you have different units, but you've got different combat cards. And I think that's something to be very excited about this game for. Uh, I know this one gets a lot of praise, but it's just taken us a long time to get it, so I wanted to show you what's in here. If you haven't got it, um, we're going to play this one very, very soon, because uh, we're working on, again, playing through the whole of this Commands and Colors series to try and get a big comparison video together of all the different titles and what we like from each one of those. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, so this is Commands and Colors Tricorn, the American Revolution. I know Compass is already working on the next Tricorn title, so we're trying to get them played before there's too many more to play. 
Um, but appreciate you guys tuning in. And I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.